Okay, so we need to learn how to draw a sphere and a triangle on that sphere known as a spherical triangle. So we're going to use Desmos to to do this object right here. This is my sphere with my spherical triangle. You can see it denoted by the uh, red vertices, um, the red points on the vertices here in the middle. So this is my spherical triangle in here. So I'm going to teach you how to draw that and then you're going to draw your own in Desmos. So we're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to go to desmos.com and when you get to Desmos I want you to choose Math Tools Geometry Tool. And when you do that it will open up the constructing tool. So now that I've got my tool open, we start a sphere with a circle. So I'm going to choose my circle and kind of get right here in the middle because that's the center of my circle and I'm going to draw the radius and we're going to make it, I'll make it about this big. That'll be fun. All right. So I don't like having these points on here. So I'm going to go back over here, choose my select tool and I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of those points. And I'm going to say I want to hide those. OK, and then I'm going to go back um, and hit I'm going to hit cancel to get rid of that. So now I have my circle to begin my triangle. If we go back to my triangle, I need this triangle right here. And so remember, a sphere is three dimensional. So these black lines that you see on this object, these are actually on the side that is facing me that I can actually see. And this is a transparent sphere. So these lines, these gray lines actually go around the back of the sphere. So this is the three dimensional look. So I actually want to draw the parts of these arcs right here first. And oops, I just moved that one so I can control Z to undo. That's always helpful. Remember that. So now I want to draw the the ones on the front first to get my triangle and then I'll finish the back. So let's let's do that. So to draw an arc, I select the arc tool and I start at the top and I need to select three points. So I select there, there and there and that gives me one of my arcs. So then I need two more. So I go, I'm going to select here. here for the point for it to pass through and then the other side of the circle and then I'm going to do this guy right here and I'm going to select a point right here for it to pass through and this side and so now I have the uh, arcs that create my spherical triangle on the visual or the visible side of my sphere, but I need to give it that three dimensional effect. So I need to finish the arcs on the other side, actually forming great circles. Remember, those are great circles when we have two arcs that meet around a sphere. So I'm going to, I'm going to clean this up a little bit before I get started on that. So let me hit my select tool and let's get rid of all these extra points because they kind of change how I see things and I like to see a nice clean thing. So there's my triangle. See my triangle? It's wonderful. And I'm going to go ahead and make these black. So I'm going to hit the shift key and select all three of these arcs. And I want these to be black. So now they're black. And then I'm going to hit my arc tool again and I'm going to draw the back side. So what I need to do is collect, collect this vertex and grab, make another arc here and then connect it here. So now I have the great circle for that arc and then I need one here and it'll be there and there. And that's my second one and then I need one here here and here. So you can start to see why I like to get rid of those those extra points in there. So I'm going to cancel out of that so that I turn off the arc tool. I've got my select tool on. So now I'm going to go ahead and select these these extra points in here. Again, I don't want those. So I'm going to hide that. So now they're gone. And then I can also hit shift and select these my new arcs. And I'm going to make those gray so that they look like they're behind. Now, one thing I need to do is I can't shade in, G in uh, Desmos, so I want to indicate where I know my triangle is. So I want to add points at the vertices of that triangle. So I'm going to do 
connect that one and that one and that one. Then I'm going to turn on my select tool because purple doesn't show up really well. I'm going to hit my multi select and I'm going to select all three of those points right there and I'm going to make those red. Okay, I can even choose to label those so that they stand out if you want. So, but I don't like labels on spheres for some reason, so I turn mine off. But your teacher may want you to label, and that's how you do it. You just click on and click off. Okay, so I want to also, I want to hide these vertices on the edges of where these arcs intersect to make the great circles because we know that's actually a complete circle. So that doesn't technically have a vertex, uh, any of those. So we'll get rid of those. And there you go. And oops, I still had my, so I can undo, undo. Um, I accidentally deleted my vertices. So I'm going to do a reselect, make sure I've only selected what I want to hide which is the purple. And so I'll get rid of those. And voila, we have a spherical triangle. Now try it yourself. Um, when I want to uh, put the image on the slide for my teacher, I'm simply going to take a screenshot of it. And I can do that. So now I have a screenshot. And I can also save this by going up in here and clicking Untitled. And it'll ask me to save this. And I bet your teacher would like you to save it as, as uh, spell spherical correctly. Spherical triangle. And this is Treadway. And I'll save that. And now I can copy that link and include it in the, uh, go over to my drawing and paste it in where uh, my teacher can see what I've done. So I hope you have fun doing this. It's a fun tool. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. If you pick one of these, you can move it around and make it look fun. Um, so the geometry tool in Desmos is actually kind of fun to play with. So I hope you enjoy it.